Karen, it seemed like a foregone conclusion for this team to officially <coughs> clinched your, your spot in the postseason this evening. Just based on the year you guys have had, what does it mean to you to be heading to the postseason officially? Yeah, I never want to take it for granted. We're in the dance and we got a chance now. Um, you know, obviously we're after the division crown. Um, but... Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you've been around this game long enough, and you appreciate every time you get the opportunity. And we've we've punched that ticket. We've got a lot more business to do here in the regular season that we want to get done. But um, you know, it, it starts a long time ago. Um, a lot of work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to this point. Adversity, highs, lows. Um, so excited! We're going to get an opportunity now. Now we want to go uh, improve on that. When that ball was in the air, um, what was what were people saying in the dugout? What was that few seconds like? Did you guys think? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I, I kind of didn't think it was gone. I was hoping. I knew he got a good piece of it, but I felt like he felt like he just got under it enough. Um, and and obviously being big in center and on a cool night, um, but but you're always hopeful when he hits it because obviously his tend to go a little bit further. And you may have been asked about this before, but that sort of silence that happens in the crowd right before one of his pitches have you ever heard anything quite like that the way 40,000 some people are completely quiet yeah I feel like I have at some point on something and it's not I'm, I'm not remembering exactly what it is but it is a it's pretty it's it's kind of awe-inspiring you know like get your attention that that many people that have that rise to their feet obviously in anticipation every time he comes to the plate and then all of a sudden just you know it's, it's that that's something neat to be a part of what have you seen from josh since his return from the paternity list um he's just getting some traction going you know um you know i feel like he's been close a lot throughout this year where he gets it going for a day or two and then you know a little pullback um I feel like his energy has been awesome. I feel like he's really locked in and focused. And, you know, we're at that time of year where we're playing for a lot, obviously. And I think you're just seeing a really good player that's locked in and, you know, enjoying being in the middle of winning scenarios a lot. And um, it's been good to see him getting more and more consistent results. Um, and that was a big one, you know behind in the count there, 0-1, or it really throwing hard, just, you know, making sure he gets the barrel to it and gives himself a chance and um, another big hit by him. Over to the left. Um, I know it's been a very different season this year, but given how last year ended for you guys, is it any sweeter to punch the ticket against the Red Sox? No. No, I mean, we want to get in. We want to win a division crown now. That That's, that's and whoever that comes against, um, Honestly, no. Tom, in the back, left. Aaron, what has Harrison Bader added in the three games he's played so far? Yeah, he's did a little something of everything. Um, you know, big sack fly tonight. Just good situational things that he's done. He's run the bases incredibly well. You know, he's gotten some big hits uh, in these first couple of games with runners in scoring position. You get a peek at just how athletic and um, fundamentally sound he is in the outfield, the way he, you know, has been getting behind balls to keep guys from advancing. Um, he's just been a, he's been a spark, and he's, he's done a lot of winning things in, in just three games. Dan, to the right. Aaron, for the game, you guys uh, designated Andahar for assignment. You know, he had that great year, but to see, you know, what's happened to his career, how tough was that to, to kind of let him go? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it, it it's it's tough. It is. Um, you know, Miggy, you know, hope, you know, it, it may end up that he clears and gets with, I don't know if anyone's claimed him yet or anything like that. Um, but he's a great, he's a great kid who works really hard. He's worked really hard at making himself a quality left fielder. Um, and you know, he's still really talented. So, um, you never know when it, when it can really pop and still click for a guy that's shown he can do it at this level too. And, uh, Schmidt two in a row that not his best, any concern over what you're seeing from him? Two. Um, yeah, I thought he threw the ball well in Milwaukee. He gave it the homer, but 
Milwaukee threw the ball well. Tonight he struggled. Um, no, I thought within it, I thought he's throwing the ball well. Obviously, the walk hurt him. He gets beaten by a little shift ground ball that kind of hurt him, and then some Yankee Stadium homers where, you know, probably a little flat with some pitches to the left-handed hitters there. Um, and Telez got him in, in Milwaukee. So uh, just making sure against those lefties, especially that, you know, he's executing with his secondary.